And I say this to you as a fellow Christian, Representative Noble, I know you're a, a devout Christian, as, and so am I. This bill, to me, is not only unconstitutional, it's not only un-American, I think it is also deeply unchristian. And I say that because I believe this bill is idolatrous, I believe it is exclusionary, and I believe it is arrogant. And those three things, in my reading of the gospel, are diametrically opposed to the teachings of Jesus. You probably know Matthew 6, 5, when Jesus says, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners. When you pray, go into your room and shut the door. In Texas, that is State Representative James Tallarico, the Democrat who represents several towns just north of Austin, is a former teacher, and he is literally schooling a Republican over her bill to post the Ten Commandments in all public school classrooms. The measure recently passed the state Senate and is now the focus of committee hearings. At this hearing, Tallarico is grilling Republican Candy Noble. Yes, that's her name, Candy Noble. And Tallarico is pointing out the blasphemous nature of Noble's proposal. A religion that has to force people to put up a poster to prove its legitimacy is a dead religion. And it's not one that I want to be a part of. It's not one that I think I am a part of. You know that in scripture it says faith without works is what? Dead. Is dead. My concern is instead of bringing a bill that will feed the hungry, clothe the naked, heal the sick, we're instead mandating that people put up a poster. Tallarico pointed out that he and Miss Noble both follow a teacher in Jesus who said, don't let the law get in the way of loving your neighbor. And that loving your neighbor is the most important law and the summation of all the laws and all the prophets. In Texas, the neighbors who sit in public school classrooms sometimes include Hindus, Buddhists, and atheists. And there's nothing about this bill that truly loves or even respects those students. Naturally, this is too difficult a concept for many of the bill's Republican supporters. And Tallarico has been trying to educate all of them for months. Most recently, the Democrat questioned Ms. Noble in another hearing and pointed out the legislature's hypocrisy. I don't always think that the legislature obeys the Ten Commandments. So I just want to walk through a couple. Um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Are you aware the legislature is scheduled to meet this Saturday? I, I am aware of that. So that would be violating the I contend that that is a hard, you're right. Uh, thou shall not kill. Are you aware the legislature has refused to outlaw the death penalty? Um, again, uh, this we're using the words that are on the, uh, the monument because it has been upheld by the Supreme Court. But we're talking about murder here and not, and not, justice. Uh, the, and certainly not war. The translation that I'm looking at in your bill is mm -hmm. thou shall not kill. No. I, absolutely. And that is that. And the reason we are using that language again is because that is the language that has been upheld by the Supreme Court. Uh, thou shall not commit adultery. Be true to the one you love. While the Texas Republicans pushing this bill seem to love getting humiliated because Tallarico has been exposing them repeatedly. Unfortunately, the GOP has no shame and there doesn't appear to be anything stopping the Republicans from trying to force all public school children to see the Ten Commandments in every classroom. But God forbid the public schools teach kindness or tolerance or empathy. Republicans say those values must only be taught at home by parents. Religion, though, can be taught by the state, at least according to Texas Republicans. They seem to believe the separation of church and state articulated in the U.S. Constitution does not apply to them. How sad. By the way, in the U.S. House, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene recently got ripped to shreds by a Democrat. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.